Everyone's dating history is different, but there are some romantic patterns we are prone to repeat more than others. Depending on our childhoods, we'll have certain needs that have to be met for a fulfilling relationship. Whether you're still recovering from a terrible breakup or single and unsure about what you're looking for, know that dating is a lot of trial and error. Consider each failure a lesson, learn to become a better lover, and never settle for less. Here are eight types of relationships. 1. Your first love. Utada Hikaru sang about this one, and as much as we romanticize about it, there's a reason why they're your first love, not the one you can grow old with. This is your first real relationship, which provides you with excitement, nervousness, and all the butterflies. You first learn about passion, how to compromise, communication, and go from a me to an us mentality. When you're young and inexperienced, love will feel sweet and intense. But as you grow older, you'll start to realize you want something more. 2. Opposites Attract This is 90% of every romantic comedy and Korean drama out there. You gotta admit though, they make some pretty addictive plots, until it happens to you. At first, you can't imagine your life without them. They seem to teach you everything you've missed. When you're both opposite ends of a magnet, things are bound to get a little interesting, right? But too many differences can also tear the relationship apart, which is usually what happens. Having different interests is normal, but your beliefs and values have to be similar. 3. Friends with benefits Have you ever only wanted sex, but nothing more complicated than that? This is a casual relationship you enter when you and your partner agree that you're strictly bed buddies and nothing more. Sometimes it's liberating when you know you're not looking for anything serious, whether it's because you'll be moving to a new city soon or want to work on yourself first before committing to someone romantically. 4. The Rebound This is when your headspace is not in the right place. You most likely got out of a relationship that completely wrecked you. Instead of recovering in a healthy fashion, you just want someone to fill the void, so you quickly jump into another relationship without really assessing whether you two are truly compatible. You might have a hard time being alone and looking for a distraction. On the inside though, you're still hurting, and this never ends well for you or the other person. 5. The Recommended Relationship Have your parents and friends ever pressured you to find Mr. or Mrs. Perfect? You probably know this one well. They were most likely a good egg and can wow people with what they've accomplished on paper. The two of you can get along, but something doesn't feel right. You start to realize you want someone with a little more substance without all the polished Kodak moments. 6. The Toxic One This is the one you'll probably spend the rest of your life recovering from. The thing about being in a toxic relationship is that the person you're with might not be physically or sexually abusive. Often, it's the emotional manipulation they use on you that makes you question if you're the one at fault. We hope that if you can relate to this, you'll be able to leave them. You deserve someone good for your health. 7. The Friend Have you ever gotten in a relationship with one of your friends? Sometimes, friendships can bloom into a deep and fulfilling love. But other times, we might scratch our heads down the road and wonder when the romantic feelings will start to kick in. It's okay to recognize that you just don't feel those sparks with them. This gives you the chance to learn about what works for you and what doesn't. 8. The One This is the relationship we all aim to find. It might be someone you've never expected, but the chemistry you have is natural and undeniable. You can see a future with this person. You have great emotional compatibility and can resolve communication problems well. Even on your worst nights, the two of you can get through the storms together. And you know no matter what, you can always count on each other. Which relationship do you resonate with most? If you're single, we're curious to hear about which appeals to you the most or what you've learned from past relationships that didn't work out. Leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe for more helpful content. Thanks for watching.